Hi guys and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. I'm in Portugal today at Baldeloba Golf Club. Big thank you to them for letting us film here at the golf course. First time here, very impressive looking golf course. We're on the Royal Golf Course and this is the famous 16th hole, beautiful looking hole. And uh, possibly might see a few of my balls down in that ridge area in a second when I try and hit some half swing drills and bits and bobs for you filming some content. So today's video is all about the lead shoulder and how that's gonna work in the downswing and post impact. So what I see from a lot of golfers is when they go to hit the golf ball, their shoulders are what I would call too angled. The lead shoulder is too high. When I see very good players hit golf shots successfully, the lead shoulder is working much lower through the ball. What this helps control is the hand path. So if my lead shoulder is very high, my hand path will tend to go to the right. Then I'll tend to use a lot of wrist extension to make the ball work back on target. Now, if I can get my lead shoulder working down lower and turning through the golf ball into impact, it's gonna mean my hand path is gonna go more left. And in turn, then I can extend and move up the ball, my hand path exiting left. And if you've watched a few of my videos, you know I like the club to work left on the way through in an ideal motion. I obviously want the path of the club working from what I'd call in to square to in, but ideally the hand path working in, upward and leftward. That's the ideal world. So this left shoulder action is part of the reason, or part of the biomechanical reason how we can produce this. So one of the best things I'd ask you to do is do some practice swings where we'd feel left hand only and place a right hand on our shoulder. And we'd feel that we put some pressure on our left shoulder into this impact position here. Feel we rotate, rotate around obviously our left knee, our hip, our torso, our neck, and let our left shoulder go low and let the hands work inward. So the left shoulder action for me is very, very important. I see far too many good young players in this kind of shape here, where the club path then is going to the right a little bit too much, and the hand path is definitely going to the right too much. So this little feel of practice swing, I'm trying to feel the left shoulder goes lower a little bit more through impact, and then the body turns and extends left out the way, is what I want you to try and get from this video, that kind of feel and drill. So I'll add some images in of some top players and how the shoulder moves through impact so you can see and clarify exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'll hit one here. Obviously I'm not a tall pro, so I'll hit one here and I'll try and get my left shoulder going nice and low through impact and see what we can do. Okay, thought my left shoulder went through. Nice bruising of the turf, decent strike. Aimed it down the right hand side just because it's the best place for me to hit it on this hole with this particular club. I don't particularly want to be hitting a three or two iron for this video. So <clears throat> the left shoulder action helps control the hand path, helps control the club face, helps the biomechanics of your body. Again, from the body point of view, this is not good for your lower right side of your back. This kind of movement is much better for your back and your rotation. So this will help you turn onto the ball correctly, help you rotate through the golf ball correctly hopefully help you not slide through the ball. It'll help you control your hand path. Lots of pluses to this correct movement. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like down below. That helps my channel grow. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week on a variety of subjects. And please post comments, particularly if any videos you want me to do in the future. And a massive thanks to Valdelobo Golf Club.